It's me again, Mr. Modern Survival. Uh, gonna come on today and uh, do a quick little holster review of a, uh, a neat little holster that I picked up uh, this week. I hope all you guys are doing well uh, in the YouTube community, in the, in the gun community, the survival community. I hope you guys are all well. Hope you had a good Easter weekend last weekend. Um, and I hope that the Lord has certainly blessed your family. I'm sure that he has. Um, but I picked up this neat little holster um, over at uh, over at a uh, local gun shop that I shop at quite frequently. And, uh, and I know you've seen uh, probably this brand, uh, Talga, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, or Tagua, or uh, I've heard that actually pronounced both, both ways. Leave me a comment and let me know how stupid I am if I pronounced it wrong. Uh, I will not get offended, trust me. Um, but it's uh, it's quality leather, feels real good. Um, it's the most versatile uh, little holster that I have ever dealt with. Um, simply because it will go uh, just about any direction that you want it to go. Um, and uh, it's, it was actually flat, I mean just, just flat like that when I first purchased it. Um, but now after using it for a few days, uh, it's starting to, to uh, starting to loosen up and starting to retain some shape. Uh, I've got my uh, Glock 22 right here. Clear the weapon, as always. Uh, I know a lot of guys on YouTube take safety a little too far, and they go to griping uh, at other other folks when they really don't have any right to do that. But uh, let me take the time to say that safety is very important. Uh, not because uh, you're incompetent and you know you might shoot yourself or do something stupid like that, but uh, just to, just to make sure that you're you're in the habit. Uh, that it's a muscle memory for you that when you when you pick up a weapon to uh, um, do any kind of presentation or video uh, that you clear that weapon make that weapon safe uh, you know put the trigger in the, in the rear position uh, just good habits good habits so we made her safe uh, shove it down in there and just fits really nice and snug you'll notice this clip on here I'll get to that in just a second but see how See how well that fits in there. Some of you guys have probably got some of the same kind of holster there, um, but I've actually I actually wore this thing in uh, about three different ways this week just to try it out and see how it worked. Uh, I wore it inside the waistband, which would have been uh, this direction, um, clipped with this clip here on the outside of the belt, down inside inside the waistband uh, of my pants. And it felt really, really good. I've got a couple of Don Hume holsters that I, that I normally would carry a gun this size when I carry this size, uh, this Glock 22. Um, but they actually have a snout that comes down and covers all the way up to the muzzle of the weapon. And it, it uh, after about eight hours of wearing that holster, it begins to wear uh, a little bit on your hip. You begin to feel it, feel it uh, making some pressure points. And so I, I thought about this one picked it up and, and it actually eliminated that problem because you only have the size of the uh, of the uh, slide of the weapon in the frame here the frame rail that uh, to contend with so that kind of fixed that problem I was very impressed with that um, there's not a whole lot to it and I like simplicity that's one of the reasons I've always loved uh, Glock firearms because they're so uh, doggone simple and they just function and that's I love this little holster because it does the same thing uh, you notice the belt marks uh, where you can actually slide and this clip actually by the way too, this this IWB clip here if you want to use this holster and I have this week some uh, in an open carry or just in a belt slide slide belt type position this actually just pops right out of there see that and then you've got the holes here where you slide your belt through and it secures it extremely well. I was very impressed with how I, I thought that it was going to be like a lot of smaller belt holsters. Some of you dealt with some of these smaller belt holsters where that you get a lot of uh, um, you get a lot of axis movement, uh, center axis type movement, and that thing really moves around quite a bit. This one doesn't, and it's just it's been awesome. Uh, it it's felt very good. I, I couldn't be more impressed with something so simple and so cheap. I picked it up for about. 20 bucks I mean and nearly nothing uh, with regard to holsters the stitching looks really good uh, I've got a little bit of wear right here you'll notice that spot right there 
and that's because, uh, as you know, if you've if you've uh, dealt with Glocks a lot, there's a there's a, a Glock has a deep breech recess here. Uh, Glock has always had that very deep breech recess, and as you're reholstering into this type of holster, uh, it wears right here on this corner. But I have been very impressed with this little holster. Uh, if you don't have one, go out and get one. Um, because I think you'll like it. I really like this one. Uh, the more I wear it, the more I like it. I've actually wore it at work uh, this week a lot. I know I know there's a lot to be said about uh, holsters like the Crossbreed and uh, holsters that are that are very large and elaborate and very comfortable. And they are very very comfortable. But uh, because of the job that I have uh, Monday through Friday, uh, I really have to have the ability to take to take off this weapon. Uh, at at various times, and so I don't want to have to be unlatching that huge uh, super tuck or you know that kind of a holster. So with a holster like this one, uh, I can reach down. This clip is going to be in there, obviously, and I can reach down, pull that clip, and pull the entire weapon holster and all out of uh, out of the inside of the waistband. So I just thought I'd throw that on there real quick, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I'm enjoying all the videos that I'm subscribed to. So if you're if I'm subscribed to you and you're watching this video, uh, thanks for the great videos and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, great little holster. Awesome little holster. And uh, you Glock guys, keep rocking the Glock, baby.